guys, it's Katherine, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create Procreate stamps. This video has been widely requested. I've received dozens of requests for this video, and for some reason, every time I come down here to film, I just forget to film it. So, I'm filming it today, and I'm going to try to release it today as well. So, this is a super simple process, and you know, there's so many possibilities when it comes to creating stamps because you can make a stamp literally out of anything. You know, as long as it has black lines, you can make a stamp out of it and procreate. So, I'm actually gonna be drawing a heart and I'm gonna use that for my example. But don't think that you can only do this with a heart. You can draw out anything. You can create something in Illustrator or Photoshop or something like that and you can turn that into a procreate stamp as well. So, if you want to draw your stamp, this is how you would get started, but if you want to create your stamp in an outside program, you can go ahead and do that, and I'll post timestamps in the video description so you can skip the part of the video where I draw out the stamp. So, if you're drawing your stamp, you're going to want to do it on a square size canvas. So, I'm going to select this plus sign, and then I'm going to hit square. So, now I'm going to change my brush color to black. And then I'm going to select a new brush. So I am just gonna use my signature brush from my Ultimate Lettering Pack. And I'm making the size pretty big because I wanna draw this pretty big. And now I'm just gonna draw a heart. And so I could leave it like this if I wanted just the outline of a heart, or I can drag and drop color to fill it in, as long as I fill it in black. So, I personally just like the idea of having an outlined heart, so I'm just gonna go with this right here. So now, I'm gonna save this image to my camera roll. So, I'm gonna go to my wrench tool, I'm gonna click on Share, I'm gonna click on PNG, and then save image, and now it's in my camera roll. So, I'm gonna hide this layer, and this is what we're gonna do to create our stamp. You go to your brushes right here, and then right next to brush library, you're gonna see a plus sign. Now, I wanna make sure that I add this stamp to the proper section. I don't wanna add it to a section that already has a bunch of brushes in it. Um, so, if you wanted to create a new section, you can hit this blue plus sign right there and create a new section, but I'm going to add this to my NTA freebie section, which already exists, because I'm going to offer this stamp as a freebie in my Naptime Alternative Facebook group, which I'll link to in the video description. So, here's the section that I want to add this brush to. So now, next to Brush Library, I'm going to select this plus sign. And your shape source, that is gonna be the shape of your stamp. So whatever you've designed to use as your stamp, you wanna upload this here. So all you have to do is click on insert photo and then just pull that in from your camera roll. Then you're gonna go down here and they have a whole library full of shapes so you can build your own brushes using any of their shapes that come already loaded in Procreate. So they have one, I can't remember what it's called, but I'm gonna find it now, in their pro library um, that I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna click on swap from pro library and I'm gonna browse. And here it is, it's just blank. I don't know why I couldn't remember that, but you wanna select blank. So now we're gonna go back to our source and for our shape, we're gonna select invert shape. And now we're gonna go to general and where it says use stamp preview, we're gonna switch that on. And now we've got our shape. So now you'll see that went from being a brush like this to a single image. So right here is where we name our brush, where it says brush name. You can just tap right there and I'm gonna name this the NTA heart stamp. And then I'm gonna select done. And another thing that you can play around with is the size limits. So, if you wanna make this big, you can make it huge. Um, so, I'm gonna make this about 511%. That's what I stopped on. And then you can adjust the preview image size up here by moving this bar up or down. So, I think 
this is a pretty good size right here. Now, with this selected, all you have to do is touch the screen and there's your stamp. And you'll see when you drag your bar all the way up on size, it's bigger. And then when you drag it down, it's smaller. You can play around with this. So if I wanted to make the stamp even bigger, I could move max size limits up to the max and then that would be massive and then I could move the minimum size limit down so let's make the minimum size limit maybe a hundred percent as close as we can get it and then move that down and now that is the smallest size that it'll allow for which I think is pretty good so you can just keep playing around with your max size and your minimum size until you're happy with it. But that's all you do. It is super, super simple. And then of course it'll work with literally any color. I can change it to purple and have a purple heart. I can change it to pink and have a pink heart. And since this is an outline stamp, people can fill it in when they use it. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Super, super simple. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more digital planning tutorials and digital plan with me videos. Check out my Patreon page, which is my digital planning club, and I'll link to that in the video description. Check out my Facebook group if you want to download this stamp for free to use in Procreate. I'll link to that in the video description as well. And check out my website, naptimealt.com, where there's tons of planner-related freebies that you can download now.